Now for this part we've got to describe fully the commutative distribution function f of x and to do that what I've started is I've just started it because in the previous part we worked out what that function was when x was somewhere between 1 and 4. It was this quadratic function but we've got to look at outside this interval when x is less than 1. And when x is less than 1 the probability of getting any value up to 1 is going to be 0 because the only values we can get are between 1 and 4. So this is going to be 0 then when x is less than 1. And when x is greater than 4 what's it going to be then? It's going to be 1. We're always guaranteed to get a number less than or equal to a given number that is greater than 4. Okay, I mean like for instance if you had 5 for instance, if x was 5, what's the probability of getting any value up to 5? Well it's guaranteed, it's bound to be 1 because we know that the numbers we get or the values we get are between 1 and 4. Alright, so I hope that's given you some idea anyway how you can describe f of x, the commutative distribution function, fully. Alright.